how to draw Sonic as Spider-Man. Hey, what is going on? Learn how to draw hug crew. For the first step of our drawing today, we're going to begin by making an upside down V-like shape. This will be the top of the ear. On the inside of this, we're going to add in a triangle-like shape. This will be the inside of the ear. Well done! Now a little below and to the left, we're going to begin to draw the first eye, which will look similar to a Spider-Man eye. We'll go over this a couple times in order to bolden it. If you enjoy watching drawing tutorials just like this Sonic video, then I highly recommend you consider checking out our Sonic playlist. Just the other day we drew a Sonic Deadpool version. How cool! Now even farther to the left, we're going to begin to draw the nose. It will be a sideways oval, filled in completely black with a small white dot in the center. All done drawing the nose? If so, let's continue. If not, feel free to pause the video. Now right above the nose, we're going to begin to draw the second eye that will also look like a Spider-Man eye. Now if you notice, we have a small gap in between the left eye and the nose. We're going to use a small line to help close off that gap right now. Next, we're going to begin to draw the hair of our Sonic Spider-Man. We're going to begin by making a curved line that will connect the left eye all the way over to the ear on the right hand side of the page. Next, we're going to continue to draw two big pieces of hair on the right hand side of the page by using two big curved triangle like shapes without a bottom. So far we only have one ear drawn, we're going to begin to draw a second ear on the left hand side of the page, above the left eye, by using a small triangle like shape. Now we're going to begin to draw the outline of the bottom portion of the face, we're going to make a big curved line coming from the left side of the nose underneath, it'll go beneath the two eyes, but it will not go down too low. All done drawing that line? If so, right above, we're going to begin to draw the mouth. You can make your mouth complicated or you can even leave it blank to make it a Spider-Man face. My Sonic as Spider-Man will just appear as if he is smirking. Whoa, how cool. So far this strong is coming along very well. Now for this step, we're going to begin to close off the bottom portion of the face. We're going to connect the nose to that eye, then we're going to connect the two eyes in between, as well as the bottom line that we previously drew. To add detail above each eye, I'm going to add in a curvy line for an eyebrow. If you'd like to add in detail in a different way, then feel free to express yourself. Now we're almost done drawing the head, but next we have to draw two big pieces of hair on the right hand side of the page.
Sweet! Next, right below the head, we're going to begin to draw the Spider-Man logo. We're just going to make a small spider. You can make your spider have as many legs as you would like, or you can even make it super small or even really big. In total, the spider that I draw will have eight legs. Now to draw the torso of Sonic as Spider-Man, we're just going to make a big U-like shape that will go from the left side of the spider all the way over to the right hand side. Let's take a quick second to look back and see how far we have come. We have the Spider-Man logo, the torso, and we also have the eyes as well as the outline of the head. This is a great start. Next, we're going to go on the right hand side of the torso and we're going to begin to draw the first arm. For the first step of drawing the first arm, we're going to begin by making two curved lines. Now this part might be a little bit tricky so be sure to pause the video as you need to so that you can go step by step and not make any mistakes. Another cool idea is that you can make a fist or you can make a really small hand, kind of like a chibi character, but I'm going to make a big open hand. A big open hand showing all the fingers will make it appear as if our drawing is really detailed. Now some cartoon artists draw their characters with three or four fingers, but we're going to draw our Sonic as Spider-Man with a total of five. Are you all caught up? If so, let's move on with our drawing. If not, feel free to pause the video so that you can catch up and keep drawing with me. Now we're going to begin to make a small square right here on the right hand side of the torso. This will be colored in blue later on in the video. You'll notice I'm going to put in a picture at the end of today's drawing so you can pause the video and color it in as you please. Now the left arm and hand is probably just as challenging as the right, so be sure to be extra careful and take your time because I know you'll do a great job. Now we're going to make it appear as if Sonic as Spider-Man is shooting a web. This means that the two middle fingers will appear as if they're small oval-like shapes. A big goal for learning how to draw hub is to hit 10,000 subscribers. If you're not yet subscribed and you're watching this video, you can help us reach that goal by hitting the subscribe button. That means you'll stay up to date on all the latest drawing tutorials and you'll even be able to make art requests. Something really interesting to know is that we read all of the comments down below. So if you want something drawn and you haven't seen it drawn on our channel before or anyone else's, be sure to comment it and don't hesitate. Earlier on, when we finished drawing the right arm and hands, we added in a small square to the right of the spider. Now we're going to add in a second small square, but on the left hand side of the spider. Now in each arm, we're going to add in a line which will help us separate the colors from when we color in later. Now we're almost done, but we're not done just yet. Now for the lower half of the body, we have to draw the legs as well as feet. In order to draw the legs, we're just going to make straight lines and then we're going to connect them with a curved line in the center.
So on the bottom of each leg, we have a small opening. We're gonna close off each opening. This will help us separate the shoes from the legs because when we color in, there will be a blue color for the legs and a red color for the feet. Now, before we draw the feet, I wanted to tell you something. Now, we're not going to draw the lines together on the body because it's a lot easier to color in our character like red or blue and then add in the lines. We're only going to add in lines on the red color part. But if you make the lines first and then color, it'll smudge the lines and not make your drawing look as best as it could be. Thank you for watching on How to Draw Hub. You did a great job today. I'm really excited to show everyone our drawing. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big like. And don't forget me, your artist, Nathan. If you want to help us hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, be sure to give this video a big subscribe. Because then we might have to upload more and more and more drawings. Who knows, next maybe we can draw Sonic as Hulk. Hey Learn How to Draw Hub crew, if you like videos like this one, then we highly recommend that you consider hitting the subscribe button so that we can keep you updated on videos like this every single day.